I just lost five kilograms in 30 days. So this video is showing you exactly how I did it so you can do it too. <sighs> to fill you in on why I did this in the first place, I took a holiday to Tasmania right at the bottom of Australia. Absolutely stunning, beautiful, and they are well known for their white wines, their cheeses, their seafoods, and little cakes, and I just overindulged. I just absolutely enjoyed myself. I ate whatever I wanted, drank whatever I wanted, and had a pretty good time. When I got back from my holidays, I jumped on the scales, and I was horrified to see that I was quite overweight for me. So I wanted to do something about it. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do 30 days of really strict eating with a tight protocol and just strip off five kilos. That was my goal. I'm happy to say that I was able to achieve this. And here are my before and after photos. Now, what I've done is I've packaged up everything in this video into a nice, neat, concise PDF that you can download if you want to do it for yourself. I'll leave a link to that down below. There are two primary goals of this protocol. One is anti-inflammation. So we're gonna take away foods that cause inflammation in the body. And two is the weight loss. So let's start off by talking about food. And the best place to start with this is by talking about what you can't eat. In terms of elimination, we are removing anything processed, anything with artificial colors, sweeteners, anything in a packet, packaged food is gone, it's out. We only want fresh whole foods for this protocol. We're removing any refined sugars, so anything with added sugar that's gone. We're taking away gluten, so I'm basically not eating any regular bread or pastas or things like that, uh, usually high calorie as well. So getting rid of that because they have inflammatory properties for a lot of people as well. We're also taking away dairy except for eggs and some high quality butter. And of course, alcohol is out as well. Sorry if you like a drink. I love a drink too, but it's gone. It's only 30 days. You can do it. So what does that leave you with? Well, it leaves you with fresh whole foods. So good quality meat sources, whether you like steak or chicken, things of that nature for your protein. Start with your protein first, and then you can have some fresh veggies. Fruit is okay. Honey is okay as well on this protocol. And we just make up our meals from that. Eggs, meat, fruit, veggies, and you're just doing this for your three meals a day. In terms of your fluids, we're just removing any soda, pop, fizzy drink, soft drinks of, you know, Coca-Cola, that sort of stuff is out. It's full of sugar, no good for you. So we're just sticking with water. Um, you can have sparkling mineral water. Uh, I quite like that. It satiates the belly a little bit more. You can have coffee. That's okay. Tea. Uh, just remembering not to um, have too much of the dairy with that. So I like my coffee black and it just keeps it zero calorie as well. So it's just helping with those weight loss goals as we move through this protocol. One optional way to really turbo boost your results, and I did this at the front end of the 30 days, I did a 48 hour water fast. Now this is very simple, but not necessarily for everyone, but I just wanted to get out of the blocks strong and drop some scale weight immediately. And so what I did was I only had water, I had some sparkling water as well, regular water, no calories at all for 48 hours. So I had my last meal in the evening, and then I woke up the next day and think about it, you already ate nine hours in, depending how long you slept. Then you've just got to get through that day and that evening, and then you get into day two, and then you've just got to make it through to dinner that night. You can break the fast at dinner that night. So it really only feels like you've, you've got to survive one night, which come on, everyone can do that. And you get to your 48 hours. I just had water, sparkling water, a black coffee in the morning uh, that I woke up, some herbal tea, um, with no milk, no calories, just to try and keep the belly full. Lots and lots of water, and it really just flushes the system out. I still did some training, went for my walks, just nothing too intense. And I dropped three kilograms in that first week after doing that fast. So people will say, oh, you've lost mostly fluid from the fast. And I think that's true. I don't think you can lose three kilograms of fat 
um, just in 48 hours. But what I found was I sustained that loss, so I never regained it. I, I got out of the block so strong, dropped. It actually surprised me that I dropped three kilos. I was thinking maybe one or two. You can fluctuate overnight anyway, depending on how much you sweat um, through the evening and how dehydrated you are anyway. But I sustained that three kilogram loss ongoing. So it just never came back on and I just kept it up and I just went down and down over the four weeks. So um, it was more or less half a kilogram losses after that. Sorry if you're not metric, you're imperial. I'll, I'll figure out the pounds and try to explain how many pounds that is in a moment. So I think five kilograms is something like 11 pounds. So three kilograms, uh, I don't know, what, seven pounds, something like that. So the nutrition is one part of the equation. The other part, of course, is the training. Now, while I think it's probably more important that you get the nutrition dialed in, the training is also important as well. And my protocol was a daily walk for 45 minutes every day. I walk the dog in the morning, get that out of the way first up. Sometimes I couldn't do it in the morning. If I had appointments, I'd do it in the afternoon, but every day go for that walk. And secondary to that was strength and mobility workouts at least three times a week. If I could get more in than that, then great. And I've also been going to jujitsu um, twice a week, just jumping in, having a roll, uh, getting a good sweat on. So that was my protocol for the 30 days. And if you'd like to see how I train, I train uh, gymnastic skills, handstands, locomotion, Olympic rings, calisthenics, all of that stuff. Uh, you can do some follow along workouts. I've got a bunch of free ones here on this channel. You can check out, I'll leave some links down below. And if you'd like to take an even deeper dive, I have an app with a heap of follow along workouts and protocols and a community. All of that's included. I'll put a link to that down below too. It's called Move With Aaron. So in terms of results, I went from 80 kilograms or 176 pounds, if I'm getting that right, down to 75 kilograms or 165 pounds roughly. Um, so that was my five kilogram or 11 pound loss. And looking at the photos, what was great is my abs came back so I could see my, my second ab again, which um, when I get a bit puffy and put on weight, that kind of disappears and I get this kind of beer belly effect. Um, so that was really great just to feel lean and light again. But probably the most shocking change was to my feet. Um, I didn't really appreciate at first how much fluid and swelling I had in my feet and just my joints in general. So um, while it's great to lose a bit of weight and have those mirror muscles and look better, um, just to see how much inflammation is in the body is quite alarming. So it really does encourage me to pay more attention after the protocol finishes to what I put into this gob and eat um, just to take better care of my joints and what's going on on the inside. In terms of aftercare, after the protocol finishes, I suggest, and this is what I'm doing, is shifting back to an 80-20 rule. So I'll continue what I'm doing for 80% of the time, eight out of 10 meals, I'll eat this way. And then two out of 10 meals, I'm gonna have, um, some treats. So maybe I'll have some fries or maybe I'll have some ice cream and I just stay sane that way. I'll Maybe I can have a glass of wine with dinner, but um, it's not something to just bring back and not have any constraints or boundaries around it all, or you just get back into this yo-yo pattern and balloon back up. So this is the, um, the goal now is to stay in that 80-20 zone going forward. I'm really not into counting calories or using apps or relying on technology. Um, I, I'm not super technical. I just like to feel my way through it. So in terms of portions, just just sensible portions, prioritizing the protein first, um, a nice steak or a, a nice big chicken breast grilled on the Weber, on the barbecue, and then having some fruit or some veggies around that was just how I did it. Three meals a day, just making sure um, 
you know, I'm not starving hungry and I, I don't feel terrible, but being a little bit hungry throughout the 30 days was just my reminder that, hey, um, this is how it feels to be dropping some weight. So developing a positive association to that feeling and doing that 48 hour water fast at the front end really teaches you that because you have to develop a relationship with the hunger and tell yourself, okay, that's just hunger, stay busy, distract myself with other um, productive activities. I was more productive in that 48 hours than ever. I did more housework in that 48 hours <laughs> than I did in the, the week prior because I was trying to keep my mind off that feeling of hunger. But if I did sit with it and I did feel into that hungry feeling, I knew that, hey, this is the fat melting off me right now and this is what it feels like. You've got to be prepared to be a little bit uncomfortable to get these results. And so that's how I use the mindset to get through the 30 days. If you've got any serious health concerns, always speak to your health professional, your doctor, before taking my advice. If you would like a copy of the full 30-day protocol in PDF form, I will leave a link to that down below if you'd like to check out more videos on how I train to, you know, get this sort of a physique uh, at 42 years old, then I'll leave some links down there below as well. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button, like button, drop me a comment, any questions down below, and I'll see you in the next video.